first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Hello guys, welcome to DIY Repair Now. Today we're gonna be working on a dishwasher, Samsung, the model number, it's on the display. And the problem that we have with this uh, with this dishwasher is that it's not draining properly and it was also throwing an air code but this is the model that doesn't have any digits so it's just uh, buttons so you have to go by what flashing what lights are flashing but we're gonna go ahead and start by check if it's anything to prevent from this um, dishwasher uh, draining out we're gonna remove all these screws just remember because it's, I believe it's like two screws that are not the same size so just go ahead and take a picture of what you remove or take a short video to remember um, where those short screws goes because you don't want to put those long screws where the short ones goes. Now I removed this dishwasher because we was also doing um, a board replacement but that was a different issue and um, a different air coat. Now it was working fine but it was not draining properly and I decided to make a separate video for this matter. So we're gonna go ahead and check the drain line compartment. And when I stick my finger in there, it's a, it's a check valve for the drain line. They call it a check valve, but it's like a piece of rubber. That piece of rubber prevents the water from coming back to the, um, the this dishwasher when it's draining. Now this flapper check valve was twist and um, broke, so it was not letting the water going all the way out. It was not draining properly. It was taking a long time to drain or sometimes it would not drain at all because it was stuck sideways. So now that little piece, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link on the description of this, of this video. That way you can get it on Amazon. It's a very cheap uh, part. And you can get it on the link on the uh, description of this video again. So just make sure you put it in place the way it's supposed to. And this should let your, your dishwasher drain properly. Um, again, I was doing another repair that didn't have anything to do with this matter. Uh, that's going to be a separate video but um, the fact that it wasn't draining it was because that little piece was broken and got stuck on the drain line housing so after you go ahead and replace that little piece go ahead and try to put everything back like it was just um, go ahead and play with it wiggle it into it falls in place now on this video you're gonna see that I took it apart a couple of times because it, it wasn't going in the way it's supposed to as you see I remove it again and I was making sure I was putting the right screws where they go so just be patient and try to do this repair um, by yourself you can save some money now like I said I got the dishwasher out but you don't have to pull it out so I cut that part of the video because it is not necessary. If your Samsung dishwasher, if you got the same model, um, it's not draining, you can go ahead and check this uh, situation, this um, check valve. And if, it's, if that check valve is not twisted or ripped off or just falling apart, that you, that you think that is creating this issue, just go ahead and call a technician, call a professional to be able to remove this dishwasher because to remove this dishwasher, you might have to go ahead and turn off the breaker and go ahead and um, uh, close the water valve and involves more things. So if you want to go ahead and try to fix it yourself, go ahead and start by this. This can be a very simple solution for you and you can save a lot of money. Um, after that, just go ahead and put the parts the way you found them, and go ahead and put the screws. If you 
didn't record a video or took a picture just go just follow this video and then this video will help you to put everything back together after you did that you put your drawers back in there and at this point we're pretty much done um, I was checking everything to make sure everything here was clean because sometimes that's one of the biggest problem with Samsung models but in this case it was not that I was checking the part of the drain line from that side um, I removed this panel this panel got his way to go in so just make sure you put it the way it is if you remove the dishwasher you have a point that you'll find this video after you remove it go ahead and you know try to you know put it back the, the same way you got it out and make sure you secure the dishwasher in place however like I told you this video is more for those people who find this video before they start take, taking things apart and it's not draining you find this video you check the uh, uh, check valve and if that part is broken this will do it for you thanks for watching if this video helped you in any way please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos thanks for watching